Hello everyone, this is Kureta coming at you, giving you game number two in the series, Rudon versus Hawk. Hawk spawning as the human player over here on the bottom left hand side, meanwhile Rudon spawning as the Blade red night elf. Night elf versus human in this 1v1 matchup, as I am going to go ahead and slow things down as I get to the two minute mark right around here. Demon Hunter will be popping out here in just a moment. Ancient of War already tanking that damage. As we see, most likely Militia and Archmage now making their ways out. Traditional builds here. Nothing wrong with tried and true. Nothing too out of the ordinary as things are now getting underway. And these units are looking to engage. Now, with these attacks here and this hearing of this 3-3-3 creep camp, it looks like this Archmage is going to make some quick, quick work off of these units here. Demon Hunter, on the other hand, doesn't even bother to pick up the item. Circlet of Nobility is dropped. Meanwhile, off over here, it looks like a Footman's trying to take down a Wisp. Wisp will be able to get away since Wisp does have the same movement speed as a Footman. One of the few benefits there. All right, Demon Hunter now being left behind. Is this Footman perhaps going to purposely dodge himself or leave himself there? No, it doesn't look that way at all. Archmage still running around in circles. Footman now trying to do a little bit of fighting. As you can see, the fireballs are now coming back the other way. All right, Footman unable to get some damage there. Archmage not going to be able to catch up. A little bit lost there as off to the north, you see the scout farm in position to do a little bit of proper scouting off to the north. All right, both sides, no one really engaging anywhere here at all. Archmage now trying to sneak back off to the north, perhaps looking to get some damage catch that demon hunter out of position but really good map awareness by the seat. demon hunter here as the wisp deton detonates and it is going to spot the archmage here demon hunter going to quickly come back attack. down the other way archmage needs to get 10 mana and needs to get 10 mana in a hurry is he going to be able to get it five oh no it does not look like a demon hunter now running on in there it goes a just a day late and a dollar short of that mana and that is going to be problematic as a demon hunter now almost gets to level uh, level two all right demon hunter may be able to finish things off here it looks like the ogre magi now down to 56 hit points and who's going to finish it off archmage now picks it up it looks like a ring of protection demon hunter not going to be able to pick up the item there's another mana burn there as a lot of mana was lost new um, that i believe was not a new water elemental was it um, it actually, that might have been a new Water Elemental. That mana is coming in pretty quickly there as the Archmage now running back off to the north. Archmage looking to perhaps take down this Null Overseer. No, not going to be doing that. Um, even, instead, going after the Wisp, making sure to not lose any more. Nope, ends up losing a little bit of mana there. Going to go back, take down the Forest Troll High Priest, and things are already rolling for Hawk this time around. Going to take down that Troll High um, Troll Priest. Picking up the Wand of Illusion. He's going to send that out to do a bit of scouting. All right, Demon Hunter still sitting at level 1. Has Boots of Speed. Going to get finished up here as the Demon Hunter... Oh, gonna, almost got a surround onto that Demon Hunter there. Meanwhile, Archers and lots of them have already made it out onto the field. That Brilliance are really causing problems so far. Dust of Appearance. Archers now trying to get some shots in onto that uh, one Archer there. It looks as though that Archer is going to end up surviving. Meanwhile, off to the north, a um, little bit of scouting there, not much of anything else. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter going after a Footman. Footman ends up getting taken down. Arcane Tower is about to finish being upgraded. Demon Hunter may come in with another mana burn once more. Archmage being extremely brave in that exchange so far. As you can see, the Naga Sea Witch now about to make its way out again. Archmage cannot afford to get tangled up Players by that Naga Sea, which those cold arrows are going to cause a lot of problems there. Down. Meanwhile, Militia is making their way back over. Demon Hunter could try and finish off this Footman. Footman now down to 89, hit points 49. It looks as though the Arcane Tower is going to be draining a bit and not quite sure what happened there. It looks like there was just a pure suicide move as the Demon Hunter now losing mana once more. All right. Rudon is in a serious, serious trouble as we now see the Arcane Tower attempting to fight back. Footman with the Fen going to be able to defect, deflect many of those attacks back once more as the Demon Hunter now trying to chase in again. All right, you can take a look. Demon Hunter in a little bit of trouble. What will be able to escape? Meanwhile, back off to the north. Ancient of Lore getting damage taken and now with the Water Elemental will definitely take down this Ancient of Lore there. 
All right, cold arrows preventing the Archmage from really being able to escape. He does not have boots of speed either. Now going to try and run back. Demon Hunter nowhere to be found. Back at the base here. Scroll of Town Portal in order to get the heck out of a bad situation. As we now see Arcane Vault, Scout Towers all being constructed. Tech to Tier 2 coming in from Hawk. It looks like this is going to be a very, very, um, very, very fast game here. Things are really starting to get faster and faster for the human player Hawk here. As we're now looking at Naga Seawitch still slithering around. Back off to the north. Naga Seawitch trying to perhaps catch this Archmage. Archmage using the high ground. I believe that's high time. ground here to make sure that this uh, Naga Seawitch can't really figure out what's going on. Meanwhile, back over here. Footman with the Fen. More than enough to to handle all of these archers, the Demon Hunter really the only unit that you have to worry about. And the Naga Sea Witch with those, um, with those cold arrows also finally getting in a bit of damage as well. Now, Naga Sea Witch losing mana. This is going to turn into a very, very bad situation in just a moment. Arcane or Guard Tower is now getting pelted down by these archers. Naga Sea Witch going to run out of mana here. Demon Hunter doesn't have that much hit points and is going to be forced to retreat again. Archers will be able to retreat. Meanwhile, Archmage coming in across over here looking to do a little bit of disruption, um, just causing a lot of problems here. Uh, but we are going to be going into Dryads and into Druids of the Claw. Now, all this Archmage is doing is just really causing problems. Not really going to um, really destroy anything here, but it is going to force the Demon Hunter to return back to base. Now, Water Elemental um, forcing all of these Wisps to jump into this en Entangled Goldmine. It looks like the Entangled Goldmine is going to be able to protect those three very, very weak Wisps. They're going to be sitting inside there for a little bit longer. Meanwhile, one Wisp doesn't get saved as now the Murlocs getting a little bit tangled in here. All right. It looks like an Ancient of War going to be taking more and more damage. Ancient of War. Oh, nope. Ancient of War pretty much going to be able to survive here. Water Elemental wanting to focus this down. Water Elemental taking a lot of damage or no damage. Ancient of War taking all the damage as a Murloc and an Ancient of War are just still going at it. Due to the Claw with the Rejuvenation. Um, already, it looked like there was a rejuvenation earlier, but not quite sure where that mana was spent. Demon Hunter gonna go ahead and try and take down this Ogre Magi here. Mana burn is possible. Demon Hunter should be able to get to level 3 off of this creep camp. Very good potion of invulnerability being left uh, behind for that Demon Hunter. That's gonna become in very, very, that's gonna become a very, very important item later on. As we now see the Archmage come in, he looks like had a clarity potion and a scroll of regeneration. Dryads are out of a mana from the Abolished Magic as we now see a Druid of the Claw rejuvenation onto the Demon Hunter in order to try and stay alive. Footman with the Fen unable to chase after all those units, but the Archmage doing its best to try and keep up or catch up to those units. One Archer down to 26 hit points. It looks like it will get taken down. Another Archer down to 138. A couple quick fireballs from that Archmage, and that is going to get taken out as well. All right, instead of chasing after the Archer, decides to go ahead and go after an Ancient of War. Instead, dropping in that Water Elemental, it looks like that Ancient of War will end up finally getting taken out at this point. Meanwhile, Mountain King is out. Stormbolt. And um, trying to perhaps get attack. past is going to get mana burned right there. 100 mana already gone. That Mountain King in a little bit of trouble trying to slip through here. May end up getting mana burned one more time. Yes, there it is. And that Mountain King already out of mana getting caught in transit. Things going a little bit for um, Rudon's way right now. But is that going to be enough as we're still training up more and more units back here? 47 over 50 supply compared to 46 over 54 attacking the front door of the main base right here as it looks like the arcane sanctum may end up being taken down all right demon hunter plus 10 attack uh peasants off over here are we going to perhaps see some mana burn you can see those peasants are trying their best to repair it but this arcane sanctum out of position will get taken down here more guard towers are here though as the naga sea which continuing to try to do that push bears are going to be forced to back off here as we are now going into a base race any time the human player is up a base, base racing is always going to be in favor of, well, the player who has more bases. Druid of the Claw may end up getting surrounded here. No rejuvenation possible as the other Druid of the Claw is currently out and about. All right, Mountain King down to what? 175 hit points. This other bear down to 600 hit points. Those two bears doing a lot of damage here. And it looks like the Mountain King does get taken down. This Druid of the Claw now does need to do a little bit of retreating, though, and now needs to head back home. 
All right, are the Dryads going to be popping out here in just a moment? Not quite sure. Bear down to 29 hit points, gets taken out by the Archmage. Rejuvenation does not come in in time as the Rejuvenation now onto another Bear. All right, that Bear um, pretty much already at maximum hit points, not in any real danger. Meanwhile, back over here, it looks like the Barracks is now taking a lot of damage. Dryads hoping to fi finish off some of these peasants here. I don't know why the Demon Hunter doesn't go after this guy. Yeah, gonna go ahead and go after those remaining units there. It looks like this barracks is gonna end up falling. Tree of Eternity unable to engage and fight right here. As you can see, a handful of, um, of footmen just taken down by the Tree of Eternity. Get out of my house, smack. As we're looking at 47 over, 48 over 50 supply compared to 49 over 54. However, Hawk, does have the stronger tech which is going to help him out no sorry sewer and hawk does have the stronger economy which is def definitely going to help him out demon hunter now in that front lines absorbing a whole bit of damage this is going to be problematic as the naga sea which now gets up to level three all right this is actually looking fairly decent right now the demon hunter will be forced to use the scroll of town portal in order to stay alive there is not going to be enough for a rejuvenation uh, even if a bear goes back into druid form right now well i believe that bear can go back into druid form and get a rejuvenation onto that demon hunter that demon hunter is in serious trouble and that bear is going to be in serious trouble as well demon hunter getting caught in traffic and that is pretty much going to be the game the mountain king looking for the storm bolt there it goes down goes the demon hunter no scroll of town portal and basically went one base too far thanks for watching thanks for listening hawk able to take this series two to nothing.